famous so the first song on your album is called Voice in the Choir uh, and I know that the song's had quite a profound effect on a lot of people who've heard it. Tell us a bit about what the song's about and, and where it came from. Well I wrote it um, in August 2011 which is about four months after my brother Deck when he was 14 um, got knocked down by a car whilst I was uh, away on a missions trip in Egypt and I hadn't seen him for five months until this happened and he passed away the day I uh, the day I got home and it was such an emotional time like trying to get over the fact that it was a tragedy but then people kept coming around to our house and telling us they've seen my brother in visions and in dreams or he just appeared out of nowhere and it's like hi I'm okay I'm in heaven and it's it's all good basically mm. and it was really encouraging to hear all this because um, I believed it myself but there's always those doubting times and it was just so encouraging to hear all these visions of, and stories of people saying he's got a, a new guitar and because he was a really good guitarist though I hadn't had much time to hear him play recently and um, yeah so yeah, I just wanted to try and find a way to process it and I went through four months of just trying to sort my head out and see how it's the best way to carry on in my relationship with God, my relationships with my family and trying to adjust to things and one day uh, I just sat down at the piano and it just felt like God gave me this present of voice in the choir and I just wrote it in about an hour it just felt like a, a download almost rather than I actually had to work in it and I played it to my mom and she mm -hmm. cried and I played it to my dad and he cried <laughs> okay. it just seemed to just sum up everything that was going on in our lives and mom made me play it to nearly everyone who came around to the house from then on and they were really touched by how, though they could see it had a profound effect on us and that it was close to us, it also related to them. Maybe they'd gone through loss or grief themselves and they could just understand it. And they eventually, like, uh, we'd had enough people crying and they said, okay, you need to get this recorded. So yeah, don't let me record it now. Don't. 